Looking at these joyful faces of NASA scientists, you have probably figured out what happened. A few hours ago, on the 18th of February 2021, the rover Perseverance successfully landed on Mars. Launched six months ago from Cape Canaveral, right in the middle of the world pandemic, this astonishing vehicle managed to travel 293 million miles of deep space and now is ready to start its mission on Mars. Hi there, Mikhailo is here. As you have probably guessed, Perseverance survived the so-called 7 minutes of terror when a hazardous entry into Mars atmosphere is handled entirely by the rover and mission managers can do actually nothing. This happens because of the 11 minute delay in communications between our planet and Mars. So even if something goes wrong, people on Earth won't be able to do anything. But despite all this, Perseverance has successfully landed on Mars, so the real mission of this rover is about to begin. Generally speaking, it has four major objectives. The first one is looking for habitability. A landing site for this rover named Jezero Crater was chosen for a crucial reason. It had been flooded with water many billions years ago, so it probably was capable of supporting microbial life. If Perseverance is looking for habitability on Mars, then obviously its second major objective is seeking biosignatures. The rover will be searching for signs of possible past microbial life in Martian habitable environments. Jezero Crater used to contain a large lake of water, and we all know that water is frequently connected with life. As always, mankind wants to find some aliens. Its third major objective is caching samples. After collecting precious samples of the Martian rocks, Perseverance will be storing them on the surface, so in the future NASA can send another mission to collect and deliver them back to Earth. This mission will be launched after the year 2025, and it will become the first spacecraft to ever bring the samples of Martian rocks, which is actually a big deal. Such a breakthrough will allow us to receive a lot of useful scientific data for future either robotic or crewed missions to Mars. Despite all this, Perseverance has another crucial objective, namely preparing for humans. Aboard the rover is installed an oxygen production device named MOXIE. It is an appliance that will produce a small amount of oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. This artificial tree could be scaled up in the future for human life support or to make the rocket fuel. If everything goes well, it will be officially proven that colonization of Mars is an attainable goal and that Elon Musk's efforts aren't worthless. But before all this, the rover will need nearly one month to check over its operational systems and another month to deploy the second passenger of the mission, the helicopter Ingenuity. The helicopter is planned to make the first flight on any planet beyond Earth. This little boy can fly at altitudes up to 5 meters above the ground and as far as 50 meters downrange. Its major mission is to prove that helicopters are useful vehicles for the exploration of Mars in providing better mapping and guidance. And if everything goes well, we will probably be able to see more Martian helicopters in the future. In addition, we shouldn't forget about these small things attached to Perseverance. These are silicon chips that contain 11 million names of people that participated in a campaign Send Your Name to Mars. To all who successfully submitted your applications, my congratulations, your names are officially on Mars. Those who didn't, don't get upset. Right now you can sign up for the next Martian mission on this website. I left the link to it in the description, so your name too can become a small part of the red planet. The Perseverance mission has just started, so in the coming decades hundreds of gigabytes of scientific data will be sent back to Earth. The age of rapid exploration of Mars is about to begin, and I believe that there are many people among you who won't only be watching it happen, but also will become a significant part of it. Thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.